want to talk about geo-enabling the Industrial Revolution, the fourth Industrial Revolution from space, and give you some ideas to think about uh, throughout the day. The fourth Industrial Revolution is characterized by bringing information from the physical and the digital worlds together. What that means is when you bring those data sets together and unlock the power of the combination of that data with, the, with data analytics, with uh, big data analysis, with artificial intelligence, and connect that information to all sorts of devices that previously weren't connected, all sorts of new insights are possible. So at Digital Globe, our vantage point is space. We've been collecting imagery about the world for over 20 years. This allows us to literally create a digital inventory of the planet that is changing and updated every second, every day, on a continuous basis. We call this the digital globe. We bring the digital globe to our customers, to our partners, uh, and to each of you every single day. If you don't think you've used digital globe imagery, I bet you're wrong. So if you looked up the location to get here today, you probably used digital globe imagery. If you called a ride to the airport, if you called a ride to get here, you probably used digital globe imagery. If you've used your car navigation system or a taxi navigation system to be able to, uh, to efficiently get, what you're go get, to get where you're going, you've used digital globe imagery. So we take great pride in making the world more productive through the combination of bringing the physical and the digital worlds together. But we're just getting started. So, Bringing those data sets together with the power of artificial intelligence and cloud computing means answering questions never thought possible is possible. So if you want to understand the built environment of the entire planet, it's possible. If you want to understand vegetative change across the entire planet, it's possible. If you want to understand the way that the built world and the natural world come together, and see how that's changing over time, that is now possible. We've built that capability by bringing data sets together and imaging the world for over 20 years. Now, if you built an archive of 20 years of the Earth's information, that is a lot of data. That is big data. We have over 100 petabytes of data in our archive. So when we talk about big data, the imagery of the planet is huge. Absolutely huge. So how do you bring the capability and the insights from that data to be actionable for, for all of our customers, all of the governments we work with, all of the commercial customers all around the planet? Just to give you a sense, we collect 80 terabytes of data. So our five satellites, 80 terabytes of data every single day. So we have a real big data problem um, and a real big data opportunity. Now, if an individual looked to understand one feature, any feature in our data set across the planet, so say you wanted to pull every single road out of that data set, it would take one individual 85 years to be able to analyze that data. 85 years. If you want to see every building in the world, lots longer than 85 years. So it's not possible previously for individuals to be able to understand that. But in the fourth industrial revolution, with the power of cloud computing, with the power of artificial intelligence, we can pull the insights out. That's what I mean about bringing the capability of the physical and the digital worlds together. So now, with this power that's getting unlocked in the fourth industrial revolution, you can start to see change detection. You can start to count cars. You can start to see what's changed in the town that you live in, in the province that you live in, in the community that you live in. That is now possible by the combination of what's happening from space and what's happening by unlocking the computing capability in our generation. So let's look at a different example. So this is just some of the 2D information that's available. So what are you seeing as the layers get populated? You're seeing the ability to use the data, and this is PSMA, this is Geoscape, and this is Australia. 
to count every single swimming pool, every single solar panel, every single tree, and every single building. Now, what does that do? It unlocks the ability to answer all sorts of new business questions that previously weren't possible. So if you are an insurance company and you're trying to understand what the risk is of insuring a geography in Australia, you can do it now because you can see where all the built structures are in, uh, in Australia. If you're a civil government, if you're an urban planner trying to figure out where you put your water system or where you put your latest utilities, you can do it now in ways that weren't previously possible. So I would posit that the combination of the physical and the digital worlds allow us to be efficient in ways that were never previously imaginable. Now, that should make us all more productive. That should allow us to serve the community that we all live in and the planet that we live in more efficiently than we have previously. So it's not just about 2D information. It's also about 3D information. So the other power of having an archive of the planet of 20 years of data means that we have stereo pairs of images of every city in the planet. Stereo pairs allow you to figure out how high all of the buildings are. Why does that matter? Because if you're a telecom company and you're trying to figure out how you build the networks that power all of these devices and all of the connectivity of all of the devices that are now going to be connected, you have to be able to figure out how tall the buildings are so you can build the best networks in the world. You have to know what those buildings are made of so you can wire the networks across those. And again, if you are a utility trying to figure out how to power a city like this, you need to know how tall the buildings are and where the people are living to be able to do that efficiently. Now, the power of this information is incredible. What we can do with this information is incredible. So 70% of the world's population doesn't have digitized land records. Why? They don't have digitized land records because it's hard. Because there are too many parcels on the planet, because there's, there are um, not enough ground surveyors on the planet, because there's not the ability to take the information and put it into a digital format. So we're very proud to be working on the initiative that is Digitize India to bring together the ability of geospatial information to help India achieve its objectives and many states achieve their objectives to digitize the land records here. Um, and we are incredibly, um, incredibly pleased to help with that objective. So it's a perfect example of bringing the digital and the physical worlds together. It's a perfect example of what we can do by unlocking the power of the fourth industrial revolution when powered by space.